Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's another marketplace free content giveaway from the guys at Epic Games. So this month, which is the month of December, there are five free contents that you can get directly from the marketplace. Now, unlike the other months where we get to find permanently free content, uh, there's slightly a bit of a change this month. So let's start off with the very first one. So the very first one is Brushy5. I guess a lot of people might have seen this. A lot of people really want to use this. I don't know. But then, of course, this is from Joe Gareth. So I think I got the name right. So this is from Joe Gareth. And Joe uh, actually has a channel on YouTube. So just in case you want to learn how to work with Brushify, of course, you should actually check this one out and the brushify tool itself it helps you create terrain so in case you want to make some very beautiful attic scenes or let's say you want to make some uh, landscape you want to you know play with the terrains you want to create some very nice terrain stuff then you should actually consider looking at this one also if you want to create basic terrain stuff and you know you want to just do this using a 3d app link to a 3d app that you can play with is in the description there's also another 3d app coming up very soon that we're also going to review that also covers that other things that you need to know is within the technical details there's a couple of textures materials and also 3d meshes that you probably want to work with moving on to the next one the next one has to do with landscape stamp so landscape stamp is a very very cool tool that you would like to you know use to make terrains so like we talked about brushify this one also you can use this to make terrains and the cool thing with this one is it features a couple of stamps that you can work with so the stamps that you can work with here they range about from 1 to 164 and the texture resolution here are all 4k texture resolution so it's going to be very crispy and you actually get very high detail so you can simply just imprint things that you want directly on your model so you can imprint things like lakes and, and mountains and you can adjust these things depending on what you want to get Moving on to the third one that has to do with the player build system. So the player build system in its own is an asset that you would definitely like to have in your arsenal. So you can use this out of the box to actually create anything that you want from, you know, creating things like wooden floors to changing the floors, creating doors, windows and so on and so forth. And the features actually include the damage system, the wood and stone build style system, which you can use to build things. So in case you want to build things like a wooden door, you want to change it to a stone door or you want to, you know, build a wooden window and, and stuff like that. Of course, you can use this to do that. You can also toggle from first person to third person shooter or first person to third person camera in case. And there is also a saving system that is also part of this. And at the same time, there is a compatibility model for multiplayer. So if you want to create things like multiplayer, you want to create some sort of delete system so that you will be able to have realistic and non-realistic collapsing of objects. If you want to simply interact with your environment and you want to create something that you can interact with, then this tool is for you. So next off is the portal blueprint. So this is actually made possible by a very awesome guy known as Alex Bryan. So in case you want to actually, you know, move from one place to another within a level, within a world, within a platform, within something that you've built, then maybe this tool is for you. Now let's talk about the very last one that has to do with zero gravity. So the zero gravity pack, which is known as zero gravity part one by Henry is actually something really cool that stands out. It looks very sci-fi-ish and at the same time, it has some very techy look from material to the meshes, to the placement, to the lighting, to everything that you get to find here. This is just something really, really awesome. So it stands out on its own and it is very, very easy to tell that this tool that you are looking at is something that you can use to replicate some very impressive visuals and you can also use this to style your game so whether you're doing games or you're just doing something that you want to put on the sequencer then you should really really take a look at this one it comes with some very very cool stuff from the technical details you can see that it comes with a couple of meshes it comes with a couple of textures link to those are also going to be in the description so you can check those things out now tell me what you guys think about this in the 
comment section and before we go there's a news that has to do with unreal engine creators so in case you are an unreal engine creator probably you're a student and you want your unreal project to be shown in the unreal annual student sizzle reel then you can actually go down to the link which is going to be in the description you can also check out other students and other university projects as well there's just a couple of rules and regulations that you need to follow and there is an email which you can use to make this submission so in case you're a developer and you're a student and you want your project to be out there for everyone to see and let's say you want to be part of the community of people creating stuff then I think this is a very good opportunity for you to get these things out. And that's about it. I'd like to know what you guys think about the free marketplace and also the update that has to do with the reel. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video, you learned something from it, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share it with a friend. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, Things like this. Peace.